Alrighty, it's Wolf of 4966. I'm your host, John. Um, I was out on somebody's channel, I believe it was Philly in the Philippines. Brian, thank you, man. You, you, you put out some good information. Um, I can't really get the full information on the uh, Mindanao area. I could tell you anything about Manila, Cebu, some parts of the whole. Um, just, just word of mouth from other vloggers. You know? I mean, um, I'm pretty sure we're uh, all those vloggers. At least eighty percent of us aren't looking at a cheese myth. You know, we don't. Um, Americans learn. You know, there's a lot of Americans out there that do cheese myth, but um, not the ones trying to get away. Because if you're trying to get away from American and get away from all that BS and the um, ignorant people, then you know, you're not going to be the type of person that I believe will do cheese milk. And I mean, it happens anyways, no matter what what, what you say. But uh, Brian, he probably, uh, him and uh, Lot, they come out with a really good video. I like that video. And um, I just thought maybe I need to reiterate on it because uh, <clears throat> it could happen anywhere, folks. Filipinos scamming other Filipinos. Come on, man. Has anybody heard of the word genocide? I mean, it's not as bad as Filipinos killing Filipinos for religious reasons. I mean, but could that be a next step? You know, if you're not afraid to scam or steal from your own people... Uh, you sure, sure in the hell ain't scared of genocide to say, oh, well, you know. Anyways, I don't believe in that bullshit. I served in the military, and we've done another, we've done enough intervention between people committing genocide. And it's not a pretty sight, people. You served in the military between 1990 and anywhere in the 2000s. You know, I'd say up to 2010. It's still going on. I, I would believe it is. Um, but it's just like, it's not necessary. You know, there's the old saying, can we all just get along? I mean, can we all just get along? Crap. You know, I don't look down on a black man. I don't look down on a Mexican. I don't look down on... Polish, I don't look down on Germans, I don't look down on Russians, I don't look down on anybody. We're all in the same boat. And I got half a paddle, baby. That's all I got. I'm paddling my ass off, that's all I know. Pardon my French, but uh, out me this here beer, man, I just, I was kind of distraught about this uh, situation. Well, the, the way the switch situation is, according to Brian and Lot, and good resource because uh, she lots aunt or mother is living in that barangay and this it was it, it's it's a whole it this involves a whole barangay and pretty much all the men then now apparently if I understand it right they got caught up in a uh, kind of a pyramid scheme I guess these people are saying, okay, uh, if you invest a thousand dollars, you're going to get your thousand dollars and 750 pesos more, or I mean, a thousand pesos, and you're going to get up 750,000 pesos more. There's people going out putting mortgages on their farm that can't afford it. There's people out there uh, going to get loans from the bank on three or four businesses. Brian, you can give me a shout back and tell me if I'm wrong. If I'm ever wrong on any of the, what I'm reporting here, I, I do need to know because I'm just taking off. This is what I'm taking off of. Um, putting it in. Um, got a abbreviated form. But I mean, that that's pretty bad. I mean, something like this happened in uh, in Dumaguete. Dumaguete, matter of fact, it affected all of Negros Oriental which everybody just says negros but um 
apparently the hymn, which sounds so, so familiar, it was two years ago. It happened about two, I think three days before I stepped foot off the Dumaguete jetliner. And it's, uh, and people got, people got executed. There was three ladies that bailed themselves out of the Dumaguete jail, prison, whatever it is. Um, they were on a, they were on a, not a pedicab, but it was a, uh, trike. And, uh, two gentlemen, two, I wouldn't call them gentlemen, but two assassins on a, on a motorcycle, you know, rode up, masked, and all that good stuff. Put the gun to the driver's head and told him he needs to pull over. He pulled over. The... The driver got away, but the three in the the three that were in the trike um, didn't make it. I mean, there were four or five bullets in each of them. Someone wanted them dead, and someone paid to execute them. No one will ever know. You know. Hell, you know, people just said, oh, well, you know, we don't know what really happened to them. You know, because they're scared. They're scared. You know, they have a, they have a good reason to be scared. You know, the, these paid, paid assassins <clears throat> are no joke. Hell, it could be their own son. They're not going to tell on their son. It could be their cousin. They ain't going to tell on their cousin. And besides, you know, the way these people think is uh, these people deserve it. Maybe they did, but I don't know if execution is the way to do it. I mean, if you had a decent justice system, you know, let, let them face justice. And I'm sure 30, 40 years in a, in a, in a Filipino prison would be su suffice of punishment for that. But that's what happened. Well, in Mindanao, they're already, uh, as according to Brian and Lot, in Mindanao, this scam was affecting a lot of poor people. These people are sitting, trying to figure out how they're going to save their farm. Because they went out, I mean, they borrowed a lot of money. There's some that borrowed 200,000 pesos. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. To some, that's about a... 10 year 10 year investment and um, what it means is no one gets fed no one gets it doesn't have any extra money they may not be able to keep the farm they may not be able to keep in most likely I'm not saying may I shouldn't say may but uh, there's like a good 99% chance that they're gonna lose the farm and they're gonna be in a little hutch in the uh, men and now and on the streets, I, I don't know where you would go to, as a homeless person, but I mean, whole families, whole families are going to be displaced because of this. You know, it just it sickens me, man. It sickens me how uh, I mean, it, it goes to show you it's all over the world. There is no place you can escape from these kind of scumbags. You know, it's just it sickens me. And I, I want to thank Brian and, and Lot from uh, uh, Philly and the Philippines, all in one, and their info. Um, I congratulate him on his new house, and I uh, hope he's moved in and everything's going good. I don't think they have a ghost. So I just think it was a matter of coincidence, maybe. But uh, I just hope... Uh, I'm just wondering how you help people that have been s scammed for their ignorance. I hate to say it because my, my family's in the province, in the mountains, in the province of the mountains, mountain province, whatever. And um, they're a little more serious up there on the mountain. And, and Brian's right. A person can get lost. He said it's a warning to all the expats or foreigners coming in. They want to throw a scam out.